the key thing when when prospecting is to do what I just mentioned ago uh, a minute ago, which is to disqualify is for you to be as skeptical of prospects as they are of you as the salesperson. So much so that we have equal business stature, that the prospect doesn't have leverage over you, that you have as much to give them as you stand to gain from them. It's an equal relationship. And therefore, you need to be as skeptical. You need to be interviewing every prospect the way that they are. You need to be challenging prospects the same way that they are to you. This doesn't mean be rude. This doesn't mean to be pressure. This doesn't mean to be salesy. It doesn't mean any of those things. What it does mean is this. It means that you don't run from no. You don't hide from no. That you actually invite prospects to tell you no. That no is perfectly okay. That you don't twist people's arms into telling you yes when they really have no interest. But you and your fear of rejection is so high that uh, that you're not going to ask meaningful questions. You're not going to take any risks because you don't want to find out the truth. So we have to do the exact opposite. We have to invite prospects to tell us no so that we can identify the prospects that have, yes, real motivation to do something. That yes, you find out the prospects that you do in fact have a real opportunity to win their business and you only find that out by asking them real meaningful questions by inviting them to reject you. So I'll give you one example and then I'll break down the six data points. So if you're having a conversation with the prospect, you may say something like this. So let's just pretend you're calling a for sale by owner or an expire listing. The, the amateur, the, the, the agent that is scared to hear the truth tries to set the appointment by beating around the bush about what it is that they're really trying to do, which is to set the appointment to list the property. So they will say things like, uh, let's just call it an expired listing because we're getting so many of them right now. Mr. Prospect, listen, uh, you know, uh, why don't you just let me come over just to take a look at the house um, and I'll give you some feedback. You know, that's just an example. That's That's the agent that has the scarcity mindset because they just want to try to get say as little as possible to get into that property. Whereas the agent with an abundant mindset that says it's perfectly fine, Mr. Prospect, if you are not open to interviewing me right now, I don't suppose it would make sense for us to listen, have a conversation, get to know each other, find out if there's something that I might be able to do that your other agent did not that would result in you getting what you want, which is to get the property sold at a great price. Am I right? That's the difference, right? We're detaching from the outcome, practically speaking, right? That's how we detach for the income uh, outcome. And telling prospects, listen, if you don't, if there is no value, if if you don't think that it makes sense for us to get together to have that conversation, that's perfectly okay. But Mr. Prospect, I get the feeling that by meeting, regardless if you end up listing the property with me or not, that you and I might find there are some mutual benefits to at least getting together, having a conversation, exploring the idea of a working relationship. Is that something you'd be open to? Right. And if not, it's perfectly okay. When we communicate with that type of, of compassion, conviction, confidence, more and more prospects, I think what you're going to find will take you up on that.